All right, so today is the day I've decided to break my water fast. Um, initially, I had set out to do a 40-day water fast, but uh, today is day 10, and I have decided to call it quits. Um, and there are various reasons for this, but I'll get into that in a minute. So for those of you that don't know, a water fast is a period of time in which you choose to drink only water. Uh, the main purpose is for detoxification and for cleaning you know, certain things out of the body. Um, there have been shown to be a bunch of different benefits depending on what kind of disease you're suffering for from um, decreases in inflammation there are people that have um, claimed that it has helped their like Lyme disease um, but the reason I did it was for my chronic pain so I have a leg ulcer on my left leg that's been disturbing me for quite a bit and because of it I've been um, less and less able to work so I work as a chef primarily which entails a lot of standing a lot of cooking, a lot of stress, and um, for that reason I thought I would take some time off to do this water fast so that I could see if there would be benefits for my leg. Um, so I've now done it for 10 days instead of the 40 that I set out to do. I've lost 23 pounds. Um, and some stuff that I've noticed is that my mind is a little bit clearer. You know, it seems like there was a kind of fog before which is hard to describe. Um, apart from actual um, you know, loss of body mass, and my face is thinner, my arms are thinner, my whole general body is um, thinner. But the reason I stopped was because I started to feel a little bit sick. And from what I've read, this is part of the process of the detoxification, but throughout the time in which I've been pretty much sitting at home and doing nothing for 10 days, I started to come to some realizations. Um, and the main one is that I want to change my general diet. Because I've noticed that as I've lost weight, my leg is starting to feel a little bit better. And it's much smaller, which is also the inflammation I was talking about earlier. So I have a feeling that this leg ulcer that I have, although, you know, it is an ulcer, is linked to inflammation and to um, my weight. So I'm going to start working on those things primarily. So the reason for this video was actually to document the process of the water, well, the end of the water fast. Um... I have some pictures from before and after it that I'm going to display over the course of this video for you guys to see kind of what physical shifts have happened over this 10-day um, period. And also, I'm going to break my fast right now. I have some um, fruits that I've cut up. I have some grapes, plums, pineapple, watermelon, and uh, blueberries. Um, and I've heard that this is a quite significant process for some people when they do break their fast, so I thought this would be just nice to do on camera. so weird. Also, I wanted to mention that one of the things I noticed very significantly over the course of this fast is my ability to smell. I mean, I've always, actually like cooking, you know, you're smelling aromas, making sure things aren't burnt, what's cooking there, what's going there. But I've, I've always smelled, but I never really noticed my sense of smell, if that makes any sense. It was only during this week where I wasn't actually able I wasn't actually able to taste the things that I was um, cooking that I started to really, really smell things deeply and I started to smell things from further directions that'd be very far away from the kitchen but still if something's cooking I could smell it very deeply. Um, also throughout the course of this I've been having very um, vivid cooking dreams where right? within my dreams I'm cooking and making food of some sort. I still can't eat it, but you know, that doesn't change the fact that I'd be preparing the food. Um, I'd say twice over this period, I had hallucinations, who were, which were both auditory. I was hearing things that weren't, I kept hearing, I heard my phone ring, and my phone was not ringing, which was quite interesting. Mm. Wow, food really tastes good. Which is, I mean, obvious, but still, like, it's just, mm. I'm also going to link the blog post that I wrote at the beginning, at the end of the first week, and now on day 10, in order for there to be, like, a more in-depth, uh, kind of, kind of to tie it all together for you to see, or to read about the things that I've gone through all throughout. Um, it's been very interesting, and I think after this, 
not that thing, but after this, I'm going to spend a week doing um, a raw vegan diet. Then the week after, I'm going to be completely vegan. And then the week after, I'm going to do a vegetarian. Then the week after, I'm going to transition to my normal diet. Now, I'll call it a vegetarian diet, but I will eat eggs. Um, and I will occasionally eat meat. If I do eat meat, it's going to be about 5% of my entire plate. It's not going to be consuming meat. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that doing that, I'm going to be able to deal with some of the health issues that I'm having right now. Because I would really like to go back into the workforce um, and, you know, continue cooking. But until I can deal with this um, situation I'm having right now, I'm kind of handicapped. Thank you very much for watching. If you have some time, check out the blog post. And until next time, good luck with your endeavors and goodbye.